This video is about timed post content. Recently, I've been working on a couple of projects which had custom post types where I've needed those posts to automatically disappear from the archive listings based on their expiry date. One was for events, the other was for job listings. And this is the first time I've needed to do this. So I was looking for a solution and I stumbled upon a great plugin called Post Expirator. Now, this is a free plugin from the WordPress repository. So really, this video is about this. And in fact, most of what you need to know is very well covered on this page. I just thought it might be useful to show you why I'm using it and just to show you some of the settings. So let me start first with the description. The post expiration plugin allows the user to set expiration dates for both posts and pages. And in fact, for your custom post type, which was the big selling point for me, if I was going to have a calendar UI showing in the back end of my posts, I really only wanted that to show on the relevant posts. And that was my custom post type of events or jobs. So I think this is the only option out there that does that. I did look at a couple of other plugins and there uh, was the post expiration date plugin which was very recently updated looked very simple but i think you needed to add some extra code to make it work on custom post types and i don't think then it would be easy to exclude it from showing on all of the post types there was another plugin as well but that just prefixed expired to a post title so this really did seem in terms of plugins the only option so it expires posts in different ways you can set it to go to draft to delete to trash to go to private you can stick or unstick those in the archive and you can move those around in categories and in fact any custom taxonomy as well you do need to have a server that will run cron jobs for the scheduling to work the only concern i had about this plugin was that it was last updated a year ago and a lot is happening so the first thing i did was to test it out with gutenberg on and it seemed to display and work perfectly well with that i've done a number of tests and it's not failed at all so i'm hoping that this is one of these plugins that will continue to get support but it seems to be fairly solid and works and we've got a high number of active installs over 80,000 here. One thing I did like and I tested is having the caching on. I wanted to see that when I'd cached an archive page with my posts on when they expired that they would be removed from that cache page and they certainly did and continue to work. I did it a number of times. I used the Breeze cache plugin but I had no issues with that. So really happy with it so far let me show you around so i'm going to go into my dev side here and once you've installed and activated this plugin it will add this link to your settings panel and when you click on that it will take you to the general settings where you can change your date format. I've changed it to a UK format, your time format. You can also set it to display for a set duration here across all posts. You can set a default category if you want to expire your post to a particular category here. And also another really nice feature here is that you can get an expiry email notification as well. I haven't explored this and I think there are some display settings for that as well here. The one thing I did need to change here was under my defaults and that's where I can set which custom post type I'm going to have it display on. So here I have three types, I have the standard posts i have a custom post type of books and events and i only wanted it on events as you can see here i've just made it active on post just so i can show you something in this video otherwise it would be inactive and i don't want it on page i don't want it on my beaver builder templates i don't want it on books i just want it on events here so i've got that active i could set this to whichever i wanted here I've not done it to auto enable that, so I've just left it as it is. As you can see here, you can comma separate the number of different email addresses you want to be notified, which I think is another useful thing there. Okay, let me go to an event. I'm going to go over here. 
So this is my events listing on this page. It's set out with Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema in a grid format. Here's my test event. Let me go into this. And if I go into edit this event now, we're going to see the Gutenberg view because I've enabled that. And here it is. It looks perfectly at home here. This is set on, but it's set to not be on automatically. So we can turn that on as needed. And well, the rest is pretty obvious here, what you need to set. And down here you have the drop downs for what you want to happen to that particular post. I'll just point out here that this is set to British summertime. So you'll need to make sure that under your general settings in WordPress, that you've set your time zone to the right one. Otherwise, it's just going to show the UTC and you'll have to work out your particular time zone in relation to that. OK, that's pretty much it. Let me just show you how this looks in the classic view because I opened that up earlier. Here we are. Looks the same. And finally, I shall just go over to posts where I also activated it just so I could show what happens if we wanted to add it to a category. So it's likely that I might want to do this. I might set up something which is old events, perhaps, and I would set that up as a category and then I would tick that off and it would send that to that particular category. OK, I think that concludes this video. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. If you like these kind of videos and particularly Beaver Builder, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for your time and I hope you have a nice day and hope to talk to you soon. Bye bye.